Hello everyone, I am Rayron. Welcome back to Rayron After Dark. And welcome to the first episode of an icy take. This is going to be my quick reaction videos to basically anything that happens on social media. And today we're going to be talking about the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Uh, I watched this a couple times now and uh, I got a few things to say. Uh, the first time I watched it, I was excited. You know, we got to see Doctor Strange back again. Uh, we got to see Spider-Man. Um, and then we got to see kind of the after effects of what happened from the previous Spider-Man movie. That now that everyone knows who Spider-Man is, who Peter Parker is, which obviously is the same person. But, um, yeah, we kind of get to see now the after effects. Now everyone um, basically wants... Peter Parker to go to jail to face the crimes that uh, he's being accused of that he killed the villain in the last movie. I apologize, I can't 100% remember. Uh, I think it was Mysterio, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, it's interesting because now we've got a society that wants to jail Spider-Man, essentially, and now everyone's paying the price for uh, Peter Parker being Spider-Man. We see his uh, aunt go taken to jail. We see his friends being taken to jail and now Peter Parker you know it's really weird that at first it was like okay he basically wants everyone to forget that he is Spider-Man so what who is the one person that we can go to to basically bend time so that everyone um, can forget who he is so he goes to Doctor Strange so we get to see Doctor Strange again he's performing his magic and because of Peter Parker it looks like the spell went wrong and now basically the multiverse is uh, being broken apart you know he's trying to, uh, Peter Parker is trying to live in two worlds as Doctor Strange was talking to him about it and he just cannot happen and the effects look good uh, the CGI is there um, there's some interesting parts about it even though Doctor Strange's hair looks CGI which looked kinda weird but um, We'll see, but when I first went through it's like, oh my goodness, this is a your know, normal MCU movie and it looked great, you know, from a normie perspective. You know, it looked good, it dragged me in, and it's like, okay, MCU's making a comeback. And then, you know, towards the very end we start to see, you know, here's a member berry of the Hob or the Green Goblin, you know, the detonator. And then we finally, at the very end, we get to see Dr. Octopus, which was awesome to see. The member berries was just flowing through me. And then it's like when the trailer ended, it's like, cool, we get Dr. Octopus back. Or, yeah, Doc, Doc Ock, essentially. But then it's like, cool, you know, went through it the first time, and it was like, awesome. MCU's back, Spider Man's back, you know, Dr. Oct Octopus is back. And, but then it, it dawned on me, it's like, you know, with everything we started to see from uh, Disney Plus and, you know, everything that's been going on with Disney and the social media platforms and everything. It's like, let me watch this trailer one more time and now let me think a little more critically about the trailer. So I, I kept watching it a couple more times just to make sure that, you know, I wasn't getting into any biases when, uh, you know, with the member berries because, you know, we've been burned so many times with the member berries and, you know, it always leads to something else from the trailer and we know how many times you know, Disney has cut things from the trailer, aka Star Wars. So it's like, okay, let me rewatch this. Let me get another opinion. Let me, let me see if there's things here that I missed. And there was, after the first time I watched this trailer, the first thing that kind of caught my attention was that, wait a minute, Spider-Man is kind of not thinking about, he's only thinking about himself. That, you know, he wants to erase everyone's mind that he is Spider-Man and he's willing to do some pretty gnarly things to do that and it's like that's not a superhero you know a superhero would you know go through the challenges and try to find any way possible to uh, claim his innocence and so forth now I don't know what the plot's gonna be in the rest of the movie but it just had me thinking that you know it just shows kinda how young and naive this plot is a little bit again I could be 100% wrong but that's just something that went through my mind as I was going through this trailer was like you have a very young Peter Parker who is thinking about himself and obviously the girl and everything with MJ and it's like now he wants to change potentially the universe to make sure that he keeps his little world together and it just it didn't feel like Spider-Man which I, I don't know it 
that's the one thing that I caught going through this. And then, you know, we had Doctor Strange who agrees to Peter Parker that he wants to, you know, have everyone forget that he's Spider-Man. Now, I don't know if this is the normal character for Doctor Strange from a couple live streams that I've been observing with the chat. They're saying that, yeah, this is part of comics that Doctor Strange would, would this is normal for Doctor Strange to do. It's like, okay, fine, I, I can see that. You know, he's definitely kind of the rebellious type of wizard to, um, you know, get, get whatever he needs to do done from Doctor Strange the movie. But um, minus that, it's interesting. But there's something else that kind of, you know, I watched the trailer all the way through again. It's like there's still one thing that kind of still is left unquestioned. What are the effects of this? And again, this is just a trailer. We'll probably see more later down the road. And then, you know, when the movie comes out, we get to see the full aspect of it. But my greatest concern about this trailer that really caught my eye is that, okay, Doctor Strange and Spider-Man created, you know, the universal... Multiverse of Madness, you know, probably going to see that in the next Doctor Strange movie. But my biggest concern about this is who in the world is going to fix this now potential issue that Spider-Man and Doctor Strange has created. You know, the trailer just showed me that the superheroes caused the issue. Are they now the villains? So it's like, there's, there's many questions to ask. Cause it's like, it's really weirdly presented that Peter Parker... In his own selfless actions of wanting everyone to forget who he is, now created the threat of this whole potential plot. So it's like our Avengers, our superheroes have now caused a multi dimensional break in time. That seems like they're the villain to me. And it's like now you're going to see all these other villains pop out and create the madness. And it's just, it's very weird. It just, it. It doesn't feel like a superhero movie because our superheroes caused the issue. So I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely interesting to see, at least with um, you know the the Spider Verse from the animated series from the Sony movie that came out. There was a villain, and he had his reasons why he wanted to break the the multiverse and so forth. You know, for selfish reasons. But he was it was Kingpin. Kingpin wanted. To I, I believe it was his wife I, I, or girlfriend I can't quite remember but you know Kingpin wanted to um, selfishly go into the multiverse for his own personal reasons. It's weird that we're seeing our superheroes do it for themselves as well. So it's like the trailer had me overly hyped to begin with all these member berries. Now here's Green Goblin. Here's uh, Doctor Octopus. I may be saying that wrong. Or Doc Ock. I'll say Doc Ock from now on. I apologize. If I'm not getting that right, I'm not a super nerd when it comes to the MCU, but I just wanted to do an initial reaction to this. And it's like, I'm really, I'm really hesitant because, like, the member berries really draw me in on the first viewing of this trailer. But then as I started to critically think about it more, it's, um, it's concerning because I just don't know who the real villain is in all this. And, you know... I have a theory that, you know, we may see Scarlet Witch come and fix all this. And, you know, it may throw right back at us that, oh, Doctor Strange or Spider-Man, you're the villain because, uh, you know, Doctor Strange, you allowed Peter Parker to, um, you know, influence you to do these actions that's causing a rip in the multiverse. So it's like, I'm just really concerned about that. So we'll see. I Hopefully it's not more deconstruction of the fair characters because I really love Doctor Strange in the first movie but it's like I'm really concerned who is going to fix this potential break so I don't know we'll see guys but um, I just want to throw that video out there because I don't know I may be the only one who sees this I may be the only one with this take but uh, I hope I'm wrong I hope this movie is great because it does look good but again just thinking about it crit critically it's just there's a lot of issues so, I don't know. That's my icy take, guys, of the Spider-Man No Way Home. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also find all of my content that I create under Rayron, under RayronBR.com. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for listening, and have a great day.